Welcome to Endeavor TV with the Nokia Lumia 530 in our hands. One of the cheapest smartphones by Lum Nokia that's come out this year. So for only 80 bucks or 100 bucks you can get a single SIM or dual SIM device by Nokia without taxes, of course. So that's really quite cheap for actually a good smartphone because you have 5 megapixel camera in the back, no flashlight, but you can change the batteries. As I said, there's even dual SIM available. You have the on and off switch right here, volume rocker right there, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, eight gigs of internal memory um, that you can expand via micro SD, and then there's also micro USB on the bottom and the speaker right there. And you can change the back cover, so if you don't like your orange phone anymore, you want a green one or a white one or a black one or something else, you can just take it off like that and get another one, change the battery, which is 1430 milliamps big and should last about 22 days in standby, so it's really quite long. But of course, that's usually uh, with um, data or uh, turned off or just really using 2G. So let me put that back in like that. And you can easily start the phone by just pressing here the button on the side, unlocking it. Then you can see here the beautiful Windows uh, Phone 8.1 software, which is the latest right now. As you can see, it's quite fast. You can see here a little bit um, how much battery we have left. It's 69%. You can slide it up again, go to the left, go to the right, like you have seen on previous ones. There's even Cortana built in, which is kind of Siri, but a little bit better. So it's still in beta, but it's really quite cool phone. It learns your name, it learns where you live, and then you can um, get, um, really help you with tasks, like it should remind you of something you when you get home, and then when you get home, it will see on the Wi-Fi network, on the GPS that you're home, and will definitely help you with that. So that's quite cool. I will do a demo of that later, but let's just go out again and uh, check out this dual sim wonder right now. So we have, um, of course, as I said, a few apps pre-installed, like for example, Maps, which is Bing Maps. There's no here Maps right now, but it works really quite well. We can check out, for example, where we are just by pressing this little, pressing this little dot here. We are right here where there should be a subway and train station. And we can go maybe to the next one also, which is right around the corner right there. If you want to get home, we can also just click on that and check on more information or just get really um, just help with where it should go. And you can feel how really fast this is, even though there's only a quad core 1.2 GHz processor inside by a Qualcomm, which is a Snapdragon 200. 512 megabytes of RAM is also not that much, but you will see that actually with animations like that, you have seen it's a little bit slow sometimes, but if you start up the camera, you will see that the 5 megapixel camera can also be quite fast. After it boots up, so you can see here the quality. The lens is a little bit dirty, but you can see that the speed is really enough. You can shoot videos with F. Um, WVGA, which means 854 times uh, 480 pixel um, resolution. Then there's also the possibilities to adjust your white balance or ISO and, and stuff like that. And then you have also burst shot and other features here in uh, Windows Phone 8.1 that can be actually handy. There's no camera on the front, which is a little bit sad, so you can't really take selfies that easily. But there's of course a microphone right here in the bottom and a speaker right there. And then there's also the possibility to use uh, your cloud storage to save your notes and of course a full-fledged office is still completely for free inside the device so you can um, edit your powerpoints or excels your word sheets um, anything that you want which is really quite cool and easy if i open up for example word and go into the text and say i want to edit i can not only type but i can also use swipe which is quite easy just connecting the buttons or the, the, the letters i can um, just hit or, or write stuff quite easily. I can wash it or I can uh, write something else like for example, I don't know, let's do um, just Texas or something like that. So that's how traces or a swipe writing works and so on. So I showed you the camera, I showed you the keyboard, I showed you Office, I haven't showed you the browser yet which is also quite easy to use. We are on the German Nokia side right now. You can see how really quite quick it is with starting up or rotating with a little bit of nice animations or with a really cheap phone here the Nokia Lumia 530 which I hope you like my uh, short review of or short test I can't really call it hands-on anymore because I showed you all kinds of things that are already pre-installed you can of course download WhatsApp and Viber um, all kinds of apps 
um, Skype on this phone and use it as a fully fledged smartphone for only 80 bucks with single SIM or uh, 100 bucks with dual SIM, um, not including taxes. So, thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj, and this was the Nokia Lumia 530 um, here from Berlin at IFA 2014.